Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to our latest tutorial in our series. Today's tutorial covers the sales process and the use of leads and opportunities within your sales process. So let's look at the CRM. First thing to consider is your list of leads. A lead is an early stage inquiry from a person or from an organisation. Leads are held within the sales or the marketing areas of CRM. For our demonstration today, we are going to go through the sales. Tile. Click on leads and we have a list of all leads shown on our system. Now leads can be created in many ways. They can be created automatically through the upload of CSV files, they can be done through web services or they can be added manually. If you're creating it manually it can be done either through the new icon in your toolbar or from any area of CRM they can quickly be created through the quick create button at the top of the screen. I'll click on that and I'm going to choose to create a lead brings up my quick lead form here. I'll enter a topic, give a budget amount, give a purchase time frame. None of this is necessary. In our setup we like to record this. Let's take some information for our customer and I'm going to hit save. And what this has done is, as we can see on the screen, that lead called James C2 was created successfully. I can see it in my list of leads, and if I want to view the record, I can double click on it, open here, and we can see all the details of the lead that I created. Within CRM, potential customers are divided into two separate entities. You have leads who are people you would like to do business with, and you also have the, the concept of an opportunity. An opportunity is a lead which has progressed a further stage, a firmer lead, if you will. In our setup, anyone who has expressed an interest automatically becomes an opportunity. Converting your leads to opportunities is very simple within CRM. It can be done with the click of one button in the toolbar, and it's done by clicking the Qualify button, which I'll do now. And what CRM will do is it will ask the user if this relates to any existing accounts or any contacts. Now, in this situation, I happen to know that C2 software is already an account within our system, so I'm going to select it from the lookup icon here. There it is, so I'll select that, and if I go to contact, I know that James C2 is a brand new record. So, what I could do is select the records found from this area, but there are none to find, so what I can do is click continue, and CRM will automatically create a contact record for James C2. And we can see this on the opportunity record which has just been created. As we can see, there is now a clickable link for contact. That would take me to James C2's contact record. It's been related to C2 software, which is also clickable, and will take me to their record as well. So you can distinguish different inquiry stages through the use of leads and opportunities. A lead is an early stage inquiry from a person or organisation, whereas an opportunity is an inquiry which has progressed further than this. Once a potential customer becomes an opportunity, it's again, it's very simple to convert that to an existing customer, and that's done through the use of the close as one icon. If, however, what had happened was the sales team had not managed to gain a sale in this situation, I'm going to reopen the opportunity. Rather than marking it as close as one, they would close the opportunity as lost, they can log the reason for it. As with all things in CRM, it's fully configurable. You can add as many status reasons as you like to suit your setup. I'm going to say in this case we were outsold. If we wanted to log it against a particular competitor, we could do so. Hit OK. And again, that closes the opportunity as lost. It goes to read only, so it cannot be updated. And that explains the use of leads and opportunities within CRM. It is important to note that for the purposes of this demonstration, I haven't actually followed the full business process flow, which is used for the, the sales process within CRM. What should happen is a lead comes in and it's qualified, which then makes it an opportunity. You then develop the opportunity, you make a proposal to the customer, and then you close the sale. But for the purposes of this demo, I quickly went in and closed it early. 
It's important to understand that there can be several opportunities relating to a particular contact or a particular account. If, for example, an organisation has several inquiries open simultaneously, then these would all be logged as opportunities against that account. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to go to the C2 software account from this opportunity. So click on it, the record opens, and we can see that there are several recent opportunities which are all open for this account. And that shows the power of CRM and the sales process within it. An important thing to consider is the fact that you can also use workflows and dialogues and business process flows to make your sales process specific to your needs, to make it as complicated or as simple as you like. If you'd be interested in watching any of our other videos which cover workflows, dialogues and business process flows, simply click on one of the links at the end of this video or you can find them on our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please follow us on Twitter, like the video or subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you'd be interested in a free trial of CRM, please don't hesitate to click on the link or get in touch. Thank you.